hello everyone welcome back to my channel if today is your first time of being here you are welcome my name is jessica rema and to my old subscribers i want to say a very big thank you thank you for your love and support in today's video i'll be sharing with you guys on how i prepare beans and yam without palm oil that is without red oil if you are in a place where you don't have palm oil this recipe is suitable for you please if you are watching this video and you've not subscribed to my channel subscribe to my channel click on that red button that says subscribe and a golden bell will pump out beside it click on that golden bell so that you'll be notified whenever i upload a new video like my videos and share with family and friends stay tuned as we'll be taking it step by step so this is the beans i'll be using for this recipe this is black eyed beans you can use any other beans of your choice you can use either brown beans or iron beans but today I will be using this black eyed beans. That's what I have for this recipe. This is the yam I will be adding to these beans. I just cut and washed them. This is fresh yam, not freeze yam. But I just finished cutting and washing them. So this is it, ready to be cooked. Here are the rest of the ingredients. I have two red bell peppers. I have two fresh tomatoes, two onions. I like using enough onions whenever I'm making any beans recipe. Then here I have a piece of ginger. This is scotch bonnet. I'll be using just one and three cloves of garlic yeah seasoning cubes salt to taste and here i have spring onion and my vegetable oil so in this recipe you can add crayfish but this is optional but for me i don't like adding crayfish to any beans recipe because there is this taste and aroma it gives to it and personally i don't like it so it's optional you can add crayfish to this recipe now i will start by boiling the beans initially i will not be washing it i'll just pour it like this then after it has boiled for some time i will now pour it and wash thoroughly so no need of washing it now I will just cover it and let it start boiling. Now after the beans has boiled for some minutes, I will pour this dark water and wash it thoroughly. Using a clean sieve, sieve the dark water and start washing. I will be washing this for two consecutive times. Now I'm washing it for the second time. As you can see the water is neat and clear. That shows that the beans is properly washed. Now pour it into the sieve and set aside. Now I'll be frying the blended paprika and tomatoes into a clean pan add oil pour the tomatoes and let the water cook down a bit you don't need to fry it to be so dried so this is the normal consistency this is the consistency it should be 
into a boiling water, add the washed beans. Adding it into a boiling water fastens the cooking. Now I'll be adding the remaining onions and a little bit of salt. Then cover it and let it start cooking. So as the beans is cooking, I'll be chopping my spring onion. Once the beans has cooked and is soft, add the seasoning cubes, give it a stir and add the yam. Cover it and let it continue cooking. After the yam has boiled for some minutes, Shake the yam. Once the yam is done, add the fried tomatoes and give it a proper stir. Stir it very well so that the tomato and the beans and yam will get incorporated with each other. Then add the spring onion and cover it to boil for some minutes. Now after it has cooked for some minutes, give it a stir, check the salt and the beans and yam is ready to be served. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching till the end. If you are one of those that don't like beans, give this recipe a try and you will like it. Thank you so much. Please, if you found this video useful, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Share with family and friends. If you are watching and you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Click on that red button that says subscribe and the golden bell will pump out beside it. Click on that golden bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified. Thank you so much. I love you all and see you all in my next video. Remain blessed. Bye-bye.